if you've worked a data entry or data management job that uses Excel, we all know how hard it is to clean up data. In this Excel Tech Talk, we're going to be talking about how to easily remove dashes or any other unwanted characters from your datasets to help you become a more efficient worker with Excel. I'm pretty sure we've all encountered at some point a coworker painstakingly trying to manually clean up data in Excel. Heck, maybe that coworker might even be you. For a lot of reasons, manually preparing data is not only inefficient, but it could also be very prone to errors, which could end up pretty messy. So let's learn a few simple ways we can speed up cleaning and preparing our data using the tools and functions readily available in Excel. As always, you can check out this blog post on our website that we'll be linking down below. First, let's learn how to quickly remove borders between cells. There are some cases wherein we receive our data in presentable Excel files. And in case we want to work on the file itself, we can remove the existing borders so that the spreadsheet is more conducive for whatever we want to do with it. To remove the borders already put in place, we first highlight the cells we want to remove the borders from. Then we can right click and click on Format Cells. In the Border tab, we can see all the different presets that we can use to customize or personalize the different kinds of borders that we want shown in our spreadsheet. But in our case, we can just press none and okay. We can see that the selected area has lost its borders while the others still have their borders. A quicker way of doing this is by going into the home tab and in the font group, we can look for this icon right here. And in the drop down, we can see all the different presets that we saw in the format cells dialog box. For our purposes, we can just go ahead and select no border and your borders are gone. Next, let's look at the different tools that Excel gives us to help us clean up our data. I personally started off my career working with dozens of data types, such as social security numbers or phone numbers that contain dashes. This standard US social security number format, for example, is going to show like this. Don't worry, all these numbers were randomly generated using the rand between and concatenate functions. There are two main ways we can use to get rid of these dashes in between the numbers. The first one is relatively straightforward. In your spreadsheet, come over to the top right of the home tab and click on find and select. From here, we can click on Replace so we can get the Find and Replace tool. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Control h In the Find and Replace dialog box, let's tell Excel to find the dash and replace it with nothing. For a good measure, we can ask Excel nicely to first find all instances of the dash, then ask it to replace them. This is also where you can double check in case you don't want all the dashes in the sheet to be replaced. The social security number is now without dashes. Another sure shot way of removing dashes is by using the substitute formula. Simply put, the substitute formula looks for a specified character in a targeted cell and replaces it with another. In this example, in the adjacent cell, let's type in equals substitute. The first argument is text, which is basically the cell that contains the text we want to clean. In this example, it's cell B2. Next, it asks us for the old text. This is the character we want to substitute, or in this case, remove. Since the dash is a form of a text character, we need to keep in mind to type it in a pair of parentheses.
The last required argument for this formula is new text, or the value we want to substitute the old text by. In this case, we want to substitute it with nothing. So we can enter two quotation marks with no space. Press enter, and there you have it. The formula detects the dashes and replaces them with nothing, effectively removing them. To do the same for the other numbers in the column, all we need to do is double click on the fill handle and the formula automatically drags down for us. The neat part about this formula is that we can use this to remove or substitute any text character we can see. Other neat and useful cleanup functions that are available to us in Excel include the trim and clean functions. But we'll be talking about those in a later video, so make sure you're subscribed for that one. That's how to remove borders and dashes from your data in Excel. Again, be sure to check out the blog post for this video that we'll be linking down below. And as always, if you found this video useful, be sure to leave us a like and make sure you subscribe to Simple Sheets for more Excel tips and templates. I'll see you on the next one.